another aspect of psychological research that we've become really aware of in the last 10 years is how our conscious experience is not just what we take in from the world, but what we predict will happen. What mindfulness meditation and mindfulness practice does is trains the mind to look for more of the actuality of sensations, more of the data, and distinguish when the mind is just working off its predictions and when it actually needs to focus on the data itself. And this is changing our view of what we need to focus on when we meditate. So previously, our approach to mindfulness has been to focus on the body and to focus on the mind states that come up that we can see coming and going. But there's another aspect of mindfulness that's hardly mentioned. It's called the second foundation or the second way of establishing mindfulness, which is the feeling tone that comes with every moment of experience. And the reason why we're putting our attention back on that is because we know that every time your body and mind gears up for action, it's always within this framework of pleasant or unpleasant. So we have to go back to that aspect of mindfulness practice and really look at the feeling tone, pleasant, unpleasant, or neither. And in exploring that, we begin to see clearly our old habits and conditioning, and we begin to get the freedom from our old habits and conditioning. 